Yeah. What's up, YouTube? Uh, Jared here with Team Yugi Bros. Tyler Serrato's uh, plus one Guaiba's deck. deck. Plus one Guaiba. Plus one Guaiba. Uh, we're here at Atlantic City in the hotel room after the event. Uh, so we thought we'd throw up a deck profile. Uh, I top 32 today. I lost uh, my first two rounds. I lost to Anthony Kelly, uh, top decking Geki, and getting into my um, Dolka and a bear, which was pretty shitty. And then I lost round two to Battery Men, who uh, top decked a monster, summoned it, and then brought out the big guys, and then just did big things. But I played uh, plus one Fire Fist, Trap Tricks, Lilas. I just pushed people's business in. So I'll show you the deck. I played Triple Coach. Uh, these are proxies because I sold two of them before we left. Uh, triple Bear, obviously, for the coach. Uh, this card coming back is a pretty big deal because it just makes the deck really good. It's The whole point is just to have really good cards, and I just want every card to be a good card. That way when I draw, it's good. Uh, three Mermelio because I like searching bottomless. I think Nightmare is a really good card in general. So uh, Three other coaches that... MST, Dianea, Diarrhea. It's just really good cards to put on top of deck with uh, Chain. And my like weird tech card was uh, Battle Pack, uh, Direct Wybas. This card literally did so much work in the whole day. I would just summon it after tanking or potting, or tanking and upstarting, whatever. I would just summon it and then tack over, and then I get to bring another one out, and I just make really good cards. Like, if I didn't always have to make a dinosaur, but when I made um, the Judgment Dinosaur, it was really good. So that was it for the monsters. Uh, he didn't even play I rabbit. think it's like <laughs> 12 or something like that. Uh, spells, I played the triple tanky, because it's a searcher. The one tensu, uh, and two uh, goyoku things. This card, every time I add it on the field, I'm one. Because it's just, it's way too overwhelming when you can top, when you know, you, you can add coach, and then you make a chain and put uh, Dianae on top. Because you can go Dianae, Mermel Mermelio, pop and, you, and this protects you it usually locks one thing down so dinea brings revelio that pops one card and then you can go coach off tensu it's really safe that's it for fire formation that i played the plus cards upstart triple duality uh i played one soul charge and i played another tech uh circle this card was uh good i didn't see it as much as i wanted to i think i might bump it to two i think it's a really effective card in the deck because i can just go like i can swing with bear after popping, and if they like activate like Deep Prism or something like that, I can circle out for a Guaiba and grab Guaiba, attack over, and bring out a monster. And like, same thing goes with the other other good cards. So, uh, played the so one warning, one compulsion, bottomless, two nightmares, two fiendish chains, the one breakthrough, double call, and double wiretap. I didn't play Torrential because even though the plant deck is it's really good against a plant deck, I just I was nervous that I would have at times where I just don't need it, and I felt like all these cards are necessary. And the only weird thing really about this is the fact that I played one breakthrough. I've never played one breakthrough before. Every time I needed a breakthrough, I had it, which makes sense because you get that's how it really works. So that's the pl that's the main deck. And for the extra, I played one Exidion, double Arc, double Castell. This card, these four were so necessary the whole day. I literally made doubles of these a lot, which is weird. Uh, Chain, Degos Emerald. Besides these four cards, were the next MVPs along with Titan. Uh, these card, this card is phenomenal because I can't search out Dianea, so I have to put them on top of the deck. And you make so much pluses that it's worth it. And this card puts all my Guaibas back. I put two plus, I put two Guaibas back in my deck. I think four times throughout the entire, like four different games that made a huge difference. And I made this a lot just to get the extra, just to dig for Tanky to get coached. But I played the Cardinal. Uh, Kagasuchi to get over annoying like problems. The dinos. Uh, this card's garbage. This card's terrible. I made this round one because I made I made the right play. Made this. Got regekied. Like second round or like a couple of rounds later, I made it again against someone bad and he regekied me. I was like, I'm never making it again. So I made this guy and I made this guy like round six for the first time and I won. So I'm gonna never play this card again. Played one Heartland. This one be my last match, which made me go back to round eight. Cowboy, which is good. This card was just here to be the 15th. This card's terrible. Don't, no one play it. Isn't that supposed to be a dweller? This this should have been a dweller. But I forgot the dweller of the card. So when I put my deck list in, I was like, oh shit. Uh, side deck. I played the triple shadow. Uh, 
because why not? I play two lights, three changes of appearance. It was basically just all, all whatever. What no sleeve? I ran out of sleeves. <laughs> I, I legitimately didn't have enough sleeves. I played triple crow. I just it was just a lot of hate, and it just got me there. Uh, I played one soul drain, one DNA, and two full house. I'm gonna go on about this in a minute. I played this in case I played noble knights because I lost to them and I, had, I was upset. And ideally, I would find the situation where I need to side this in, flip it, and be like dinosaurs, and then just make what's the name of them? Lady and Dorka. I would make Lagia because it's the best. It's the best <laughs> card ever. I love it. But I just it's a situation I never made it. This is a waste of space, but I want it. This card is the tits. It's it's the bee's knees. This card is so good. Every time I flipped it, I won. Like immediately. My last match, I won a game solely off this card because uh, I was playing Burning Abyss Player and I set this card and five other traps and he uh, he summon he activates two supply squads and sets two. So I pop all this stuff plus one of my breakthrough and I win from there and that secured me like my X two spot. So that was pretty cool. So that's it for the deck, the main deck, and the side deck and stuff. So overall the deck was really good. I just I would usually I was playing Dante before, but the fact that Dante's are so expensive I got rid of them. And I think the plus one is just a really good option. I think I got sick of playing cards and drawing like things I don't want to draw. I just want to draw good cards. It's, like all monsters are all traps. I just want to draw good cards. Like no matter what I draw in this deck, it's good. The only thing I don't like drawing is in all honesty, I don't like drawing Soul Charge. What about Dynaia? I love drawing Dynaia. I don't care if I open with it. I love having it. I notice you don't like drawing MST. Yeah. I just thought that too. I space. No. no just I don't like <laughs> space. I didn't, I thought, I don't, the reason why I didn't play space is I don't think it's very necessary. Uh, if I have back row problems, I, if I play Floodgate, I'm just gonna play, um, I have two, I have double wire taps. I have Mermelios. I have this Goyuku thing. I just feel like I just didn't need that spaces. I don't think back row is, I don't think, cards or that much like the back row wasn't that much a problem although back row i didn't real i just don't think back row is as big of a deal as like i didn't i didn't find it necessary at all because uh, uh down there okay what like, now i played um i had emptiness flipped on me i think four times chain that call and i played like four times in two games like four times i think shit. all day well like that <laughs> and i played out of one one time the second drew three one time and those other three times I literally lost because I didn't have space, but <laughs> but it didn't matter because I always win game ones for the most part. Like this deck literally opens like this. You go, you get Marmelio first turn. It's like legitimately not even hard to open this. I, this is what I open almost all day. With space inside. All this. No, no space is inside. Fuck space. No space. Not, not a is, single space in this deck. This is my hand. That card was once limited. That card's bad. That card doesn't do anything. So you open this. You get your bottom, that's your nightmare. You get this, you get your bear, you pot. You, you're you obviously going to pawn something great. You probably get warning, because why not? And you're going to upstart into a coach, because that's what makes sense. And that's how you win the game. So that's it for the plus one. Uh, I mean, the, the plus one Guaybas. The Tyler Serrato plus one Guaybas deck. First person to talk about it. Let's go. All right. Thank you. Guaybas. Subscribe. Guaybas.